Welcome back people, my people, to Odin Dust Rings. And tonight I'm doing the horchata, which is kind of like a Latin American drink. It's a Spanish drink. It is made from a nut that's not really a nut. It's made from tiger nuts, which is actually a form of the grass family, sedge. Um, and you got images appearing off to my side and that. So this stuff is frequently non-alcoholic. It's made from half a dozen different ingredients across the Spanish-speaking world. The Colombians and Mexicans will make it using rice, which will be horchata con arroz. This is the alcoholic version, which has got licor cuarenta y tres, which is Spanish for 43. Yes, I can leave it off the label. Now this stuff comes from that really pretty bottle in the um, main photograph. Okay, so I got this as a sample and because the guy kind of knows that I'm doing that long walk in Spain next year and I'll be looking rather windswept and interesting. So I thought, okay, it's a Spanish alcoholic drink. I haven't tried many of them. Um, and okay, so I thought I'd give it a try once I finish scratching my nose. So it is served cold. The non-alcoholic version is kind of like a version of soy milk, except it's not, it's sedge. Okay, so when I finish with the contradiction, this particular one is the um, happy version. It's 16%. It is, according to the bottle, a creamy fusion of licor cuarenta e tres and traditional hot jata from Valencia in Spain. So I'm going to go hold Spanish. Hola, amigos. Que quieres? It's really milky. It's really creamy. Um, my other half thinks it's got overtones of more likely um, deep heat on it. I tend to disagree. I think what we're picking up is the spices in this baby. But needless to say, this is one of those drinks that the Spanish like to drink ice freaking cold. So you can picture it in seven months time. I'm out there. I've busted my fat ass up and down the Camino Santiago. And I get into a bar in Burgos or Leon and I say, Senor, necesitado uno horchata guante y tres, which is my really bad Spanish for, sir, I need one of these drinks. And I find it completely delicious. It's really good. Um, all those little health benefits. I'll finish renting enough at you. I got it from um, my good friend Elliot whose uh, links are in the write-up and I think you should get it. If you're going to do the Camino and you want to go having the taste of the Camino or you've got, um, you know, you're missing the Camino, go and get this stuff. It is completely delicious and I'll take you to Spain and bet that quick. Thank you for watching people, my people. Subscribe and you'll know, little bell and the whole subscription business. And we'll start, I think, doing that. Drinks of the Camino. Catch up. Thank you for subscribing.